welcome and please be seated. Good afternoon. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the Community College of Vermont's 2017 commencement ceremony. I am Joyce Judy, president of CCV, and I have the distinct honor of greeting you today to celebrate our 2017 graduates. It is a privilege to be joined on the platform by Vermont's Governor, Phil Scott, today's keynote speaker, Eben Bayer, the Vermont State College's Chancellor, Jeb Spaulding, and Vermont State College's Board of Trustees, Church Hines, Linda Milne, Michael Pichek, and Allie Richards. Also joining me on the platform are this year's Community Service Award recipients, Michelle and Peter Ash of Twin Craft Skin Care, the class of 2017 student speaker, Levi Costa, <laughs> student resource advisor, Billy Dunham, and academic dean, Debbie Stewart. I would also like to acknowledge the state senators and representatives from districts throughout the state who are joining us in the audience. Thank you for being here to celebrate CCV's class of 2017. <laughs> Graduates, as you entered the field house this afternoon, you were greeted by members of our faculty your instructors, who were such an essential part of your CCV experience, joined the faculty line at graduation to recognize your achievements. In the audience to my left are the many advisors and other staff members who have encouraged you and guided you throughout your time at CCV. Will all faculty and staff members please stand, and I ask graduates to join me in recognizing and thanking them. I would like to extend a special thanks to all the CCV staff, as well as the staff here at Norwich University who helped to organize this event. Today is the culmination of many months of hard work, and we appreciate your efforts. <laughs> Graduates, today marks a significant milestone. You have earned a degree from the Community College of Vermont, and I am proud to stand here and be the first to congratulate you on that accomplishment. This ceremony is a rite of passage, and I encourage you to take time to reflect on the hard work that got you here and to celebrate this moment. I also want to emphasize that this is not an ending. Though you have finished your time at CCV, I hope your drive to succeed has yet to run its course. I know from speaking with many of you that the decision to come to CCV was not made easily or lightly. The choice you made to walk through our doors took courage. This is especially true for one of our youngest graduates. Throughout her life, this student has been a victim of criticism and abuse. As a young girl, she dreamed of someday going to law school, but that dream was buried by people who, thought, who told her she would never succeed. Today, she has a job with the state's attorney in Rutland and plans to pursue a bachelor's degree in criminal justice at Castleton University. Many of you came to CCV because you wanted something different and were seeking a better future. You were committed to your goal of earning a college degree and you stuck with it. I know that you all faced obstacles on your way to this day and that you found ways to overcome them. You have the ability to roll up your sleeves and dive into your work. What's more, you have the desire to keep going. This work ethic 
is a quality I hold dear. I grew up on my family's dairy farm, and as many of you know, this is a life that requires rolling up your sleeves every day of the week. It is a life that requires persistence. And I am grateful to have been brought up in this tradition because it instilled in me the understanding that good, meaningful work is never finished. Today, I see the same persistence in all of you. Creating a better future will require you to keep asking, keep trying, and keep learning. Graduates, you are here from all 13 of our academic centers and from all 14 counties across the state. You also represent 11 other states across the country and 10 countries throughout this world. You also span generations. Our two youngest graduates today are 17 and our oldest graduate is 70. Today is the first time you have been together in the same place, but you have all shared common experiences during your time at CCV. As new students, you attended orientation where you were introduced to the college. You have taken a dimensions class, which provided you with tools and concepts that you utilize throughout your studies. And you've taken seminar and educational inquiry, where you applied critical thinking to complex issues. In some cases, you learn from others who are half or twice your own age. Maybe you studied alongside others from other countries or worked with someone whose career or experience you admired. Some of you are the first in your family to graduate from college. For one of our first generation students, college was a lifelong dream that was sidelined because of a relentless battle with drug addiction and mental illness. After four years here, the student says CCV feels like home. Today, she is graduating with a degree in liberal studies and has received a scholarship to attend a bachelor's program in meteorology at the University of Oklahoma. This student is not alone in experiencing the transformative power of a CCV education. I would like to ask all students who are first in their family to receive a college degree to stand at this time and be recognized. Some of you have come to CCV from other countries. Many of our new Americans came to Vermont in search of a greater opportunity, and I am proud that CCV is now a part of your story. One of our new American graduates immigrated to New York with her family from Central Africa in 2002. She is a survivor and a survivor of an abusive marriage, which she left in search of a fresh start for herself and her son. This graduate, found her way to CCV, and she excelled. She is currently working as a phlebotomist at the University of Vermont Medical Center and plans to pursue a bachelor's degree in the medical field. I would like to ask all new Americans who are graduating today to stand and be recognized. Some of you have spent time in the military or are still actively serving our country. For one of our military graduates, school was never easy. After dropping out of the ninth grade, he struggled to find a clear direction in life. Eventually, he decided to follow in his father's footsteps and join the military. Today, this student is coming up on eight years of service as a medic with the Vermont Army National Guard. After applying incredible determination and passion to his work at CCV, he proudly earns his associate degree 
and he will join the nursing program at Castleton University this fall. Those of you who are veterans or active members of the military, we are proud of what you have accomplished today, and we thank you for your service to this country. Few of us can imagine the ways in which your lives have been impacted by your experiences, and we offer our deepest gratitude for your bravery, your integrity, and your commitment. I would like to ask all veterans and military graduates to stand at this time and be recognized. Graduates, we pause today to recognize your hard work and to celebrate this special moment. I am proud of you and I congratulate you. It is my hope that you will go forward with confidence and that you will continue to work tirelessly in pursuit of your dreams. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite the governor of the state of Vermont, Phil Scott, to the podium to greet and congratulate the class of 2017. Governor? Thank you all so much. Congratulations to the class of 2017. It's a privilege for me to be here on this important day to celebrate with you and your families. You have a lot to be proud of. Many of you have juggled your studies with jobs and families. Some of you learned English as a second language. All of you made it here because of your hard work and determination. And I want you to all just take a look around for just a moment. And I really mean it. Take a look around to all the people, all your friends and family who are here today to support you and to honor you because we're very proud of what you've, what you've done and what you've achieved. Although I'm sure you've, you've been received a lot, of, uh, a lot of help and support and encouragement, it was you, you who made it across the finish line. Nobody wrote the papers for you or took those tests for you. You did this, and you earned the diploma you received today. Many of you, like me, are native Vermonters. Others come from different states, even different countries. Some of you are still close to your teens, while others, like me, probably remember disco, shag carpets, and waterbeds. I think there's some out in the, the audience that do as well. But now there is something that you all have in common. You are all college graduates. Many of you know what you will do and do great things in your chosen field. And the education you received at CCV will be instrumental in doing that. And to those of you who aren't quite sure what you're going to be doing, here's a little secret. I wasn't always sure either, and there are still days when I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. But the fact is that when I went to college, I studied to be a tech ed teacher. And because of my love to build and create and problem solve, I received my student uh, teaching certification but after student teaching at U32, I decided it just wasn't right for me. So I went into business. And the rest, as they say, is history. But I never, ever regretted going to school. And to this day, still use a lot of what I learned. It wasn't a straight line from point A to point B for me. And I know it hasn't been for some of you either. My point is this. You never know what hand you're going to be dealt, where your college experience will lead you, where you're going to go or how you're going to get there. And that's okay, because that's what makes life so interesting. So embrace the challenges ahead. Be bold. Be the one who wants it the most, works the hardest, and is the most prepared. And finally, as you turn the page into the next chapter, I'd like to humbly suggest a few words of advice that I try and live by every day. Always treat others the way you want to be treated, even on Twitter. 
You know, it's... It, it's really a very simple concept. Be a role model for others, especially our youth. Understand how we act when we're not in the spotlight is just as important as how we act when we're on center stage. Owning and learning from our mistakes is character building. Mistakes are only weaknesses if we don't use them to make ourselves better. Become a sponge. If you aren't already a sponge, become a sponge. Absorb all you can and continue to learn from others. None of us, none of us have all the answers. And you're never too old to learn something new. I know I do every single day. And finally, finally understand the importance of integrity. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, it's how most of us will be remembered. Congratulations, class of 2017. You've made us all very, very proud. And I thank you for being here. And I thank you for all your efforts. Thank you, Governor Scott. At CCV, we take great pride in encouraging and in celebrating community service. At commencement, we honor individuals who have given their time and energy in service to others. I would like to invite Michelle and Peter Ash to join me at the podium. The Community Service Award is presented each year in recognition of sustained and profound service to our state. This year, it is my distinct privilege to recognize Michelle and Peter Ash. Together with Peter's brother, the Ashes own and operate Twin Craft Skin Care, a growing Vermont manufacturer. Twin Craft was founded by Peter's father and uncle in 1972. Today, Peter serves as president and Michelle is vice president of leadership and organizational development. Peter also serves on the board of Intervail and the ACLU, and Michelle serves on the board of Special Olympics. At TwinCraft, the Ashes have made significant contributions to workforce development and education. They strive to provide well-paying jobs for people with and with opportunities for personal growth. They believe in second chances and feel that anyone who is willing to work hard deserves the opportunity to succeed. They work with community organizations to employ those in recovery or with special needs. Their commitment to helping Vermonters work toward a better life is an, is an inspiration. Michelle and Peter, on behalf of the CCV community, please accept our sincere thanks to the many ways you work to improve the quality of life in our state. CCV faculty members are committed to serving their communities, embedding service learning opportunities in their classes and offer, often inspiring a desire for community engagement in their students. This year, we present the Faculty Community Service Award to Carol Toshi. Carol has been an active leader in the Rutland community since moving to that area over a decade ago. In addition to teaching classes at CCV, she owns and operates an organic vegetable farm and has been involved in several area organizations and initiatives including the Central Vermont Peace and Justice Center, the Rutland Area Farm and Food Link, the Local Food Co-op, and Sustainable Rutland. Most recently, she played an integral part in the founding of Rutland Welcomes, a volunteer effort to, to support refugee resettlement. As an instructor, Carol encourages surface, encourages surface learning at every opportunity. She is an inspiration to her peers, her students, her, and her community, and we thank her for her service and congratulate her on receiving this award. Unfortunately, Carol was not able to be here today. She is doing her farming. So we wish her the best and hope she has a good growing season.
Many CCV students are active leaders in their academic centers and in their communities and dedicate a great deal of their time and effort to engaging and supporting the people around them. This year, we are pleased to present the Student Service Awards to Hunter Knox and Andrea Otto. Will Hunter and Andrea please join me on the platform? Hunter Knox studied at our Upper Valley Academic, Academic Center and graduates today with a degree in environmental science. Hunter has been an avid outdoorsman for most of his life. He has a deep love for Vermont and feels strongly about young people staying here to work and live. Throughout his time at CCV, he has been a leader and a role model. He participated in outreach with local schools and served on student panels where he, shared, where he shared his own experiences and story. He has been a member of the community of student representatives, a work-study student, and an orientation leader. And he was a recipient of CCV's 2016 Leadership Scholarship. He plans to carry his affection for Vermont's forests and waterways into his bachelor's degree program in natural resources. Hunter. Andrea Otto studied at our St. Johnsbury Academic Center as, and has been devoted to that community since starting at CCV. She served as a job hunt helper at St. Johnsbury's Public Library, helping local patrons look for job opportunities and training. She was a member of the community of student representatives and she was one of the first students to participate in CCV Friday morning webinar series where she and a peer discuss solutions to the high cost of textbooks. Andrea is a talented artist and has shared her work at the St. Johnsbury Academic Center to promote classes and events. Congratulations, Andrea. Graduates, today you become CCV alumni. In that role, you will always be members of the CCV family. With generous support from past graduates, every year we award the alumni scholarship to graduates who plan to continue their education at a four-year college. This year, we are proud to award the alumni scholarship to Elisa, Alicia Bachelor, Andrea Otto, and Kara Tomasini. Will Alicia, Andrea, and Kara please join me on the platform? <laughs> Alicia Bachelor studied at our Montpelier Academic Center and is earning a degree in business. She will be pursuing a bachelor's degree in accounting at Linden State College and hopes to become a certified public accountant. Andrea Otto graduates with a degree in visual arts and plans to continue on to a bachelor's degree in art education at either Johnson State or the University of Vermont. Kara Tomasini attended our Rutland Academic Center and graduates today with a degree in human services. She plans to continue her studies at Castleton University, where she will pursue a degree in social work. Congratulations, Alicia, Andrea, and Kara. Now, graduates, you will hear from one of your own. The student speaker for the class of 2017 is Levi Costa from CCV's Morrisville Academic Center. And here to introduce Levi is student resource advisor, Billy Dunham. Billy? Good 
Good afternoon and congratulations, graduating class of 2017. What an honor to be here today to celebrate this event with you and to introduce Levi Costa. I have the pleasure of advising Levi for the last two years. Um, I remember the first time that I met him, um, Levi had a plan. He was gonna take a few classes at CCV and then transfer to the UVM, but he didn't plan on graduating from CCV. Much to his surprise, not only has he stayed with us, but he has grown with us and graduating today and represents you as the student speaker. If you take a moment and you read his bio, you might be able to understand what an asset Levi is, um, not just to CCV or our community, but to his peers and his work as being a tutor and a mentor. I've watched him find his place at CCV and I've watched him gain his confidence and leadership skills. And I wanna thank Levi very much for everything that he has taught me. With the greatest pleasure and honor, and without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the 2017 graduation speaker, Levi Costa. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to share somewhat of a crazy story of my first college class ever at CCV. To start, I was very sick with a head cold. I somehow managed to drag myself to class, which was about a 45 minute drive from home. After arriving, I had to find a parking, which some of us know can be somewhat of a hassle in Winooski. <laughs> After finding a spot in the car garage, I went to pay the meter. I went to take out my wallet and realized that I'd left it in the car. After making my way back to the car, I reached for my keys, only to see them laying on the seat. This was the start of a very long night. I called my wonderful mother and asked if she could bring me my spare set of keys, and of course, she said yes. In the midst of this, I went out the wrong exit of the garage, leaving myself, someone new to Winooski, completely lost. Eventually, somehow, I found my way back to class, or to class, to fast forward a couple hours and class is over. I went out to meet my mother only to find she had a flat tire. I changed the tire only to find that the spare I put on was flat as well. <laughs> At this point, I thought to myself, if this is an indication of what college is going to be like, I'm out. <laughs> the reason I share this story with you is because it illustrates the unplanned and unwelcome struggles life throws at us, sometimes out of nowhere. Usually, luckily, we find a way to overcome these unplanned and unwelcome struggles. You know, attending college and working towards a college degree is quite a journey. The journey is filled with new information, fresh perspectives, and differing viewpoints. It is filled with new friends, and yes, it is filled with challenges. Some of these challenges were expected, like a lot of homework and reading to do in a week, numerous assignments to complete, and difficult course content. Other challenges were the unplanned and unwelcome struggles life throws at us from time to time. You know, the big old curveballs of life. We have all had our individual journeys to this point, the point where we will walk across this stage and proudly receive our college diplomas. I think I can safely assume that something unifying all of us is that we have each endured and overcome both challenges and struggles during this incredible educational journey we embarked on, this journey towards earning a college degree. For me, overcoming these challenges was sometimes difficult, not just because of the homework, exams, and everything else one expects from college, but because all these challenges had to be dealt with at the same time as life's other struggles as well. Doing this day after day can really bring you down. Sometimes it can bring you far, so far down, you feel like you can't get back up. At least, this is how I felt from time to time. I then came to realize that this is not something to be ashamed of. We all struggle sometimes. What I found works best when you're that far down is reaching for a helping hand. Reaching for a hand is what I started to do when I felt down and always had someone willing to lift me back up. When taking classes at CCV, I met people that I could trust to pick me back up. This is one of the many reasons why I loved it here. CCV really is one big community and family. Everyone is always helping one another. What my main point to all this is, don't ever be afraid to reach out for a helping hand. Some of life's pits are just too deep to climb out, climb out of yourself. You don't have to struggle by yourself. You know why? Just look around you. Look at your classmates who came on this journey with you. Look at the community that's here to support you. You are not alone. A helping hand is always there. 
you just have to reach for it. Don't ever feel like you need to go at it alone. Also, now that we are all college graduates, I want, us to challenge, I want to challenge all of us to be on the lookout for extended hands asking for help, wherever we may be in life. I think we should do this as a sign of gratitude for those who lent us their hand in our time of need, and a way to keep a never-ending cycle of such a kind act going forever. As stated by Morgan Freeman, we can change the world one random act of kindness at a time. I'd like to congratulate my fellow classmates for graduating today. When I look at you, it's absolutely inspiring. Whether you reached out for a hand or not, you made it here today. You all had your goal in mind and stuck to it. You've now proven to yourself that you can do anything you put your mind to. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I wish you all the best in the new, untraveled, exciting roads that lie before you. <clears throat> it's been my honor talking to you all today. I encourage you all to thank those who have given you a hand in your time of need. I would personally like to thank everyone who has given me a hand in mine. My man up buddies, Justin and Brandon Bordeaux and Tyler Budzak. My good friend, Riley Droney. The faculty and staff of CCV. My boss, Mike, and his wife, Leanne. My beautiful girlfriend, who I love so much, and her family. <laughs> and of course, my wonderful family. Whenever I reached for a hand, one was given to me. Thank you. You will never be forgotten. At this time, I am pleased to announce our keynote speaker, Eben Bayer. Eben Bayer grew up working on his family's farm in central Vermont. He graduated from Rensselaer Polytech Institute, RPI, with degrees in mechanical engineering and innovation and design. He is the co-founder of Ecovative, which uses mushroom-based materials to create safe, alternative products for packaging and building. Eben has shared his work and his ideas at events around the world, including the TED conferences, the United Nations Climate Summit, and the World Economic Forum. We are pleased to have Eben, an innovative global thinker who remains loyal to the values of his native Vermont here today. We are delighted that he was able to join us to address the class of 2017, Eben. I am so happy to be here in Vermont today. I want to thank Joyce and the rest of the CCV community for having me. Um, and what I want to do today is share with you some of my experiences as a Vermonter, as an inventor, as the founder of Ecovative. And the single biggest message I want you to take away today is that your accomplishment is marked in two ways. The first is the well-deserved degree you are each about to receive and I will keep my remarks short. And the second, and perhaps in my belief even more important, is the persistence and effort each of you put forth to reach this point. I was born almost 32 years ago on the floor of a Vermont farmhouse. I'm proud to call myself a Vermonter and grateful for the many experiences I had growing up here. Being a Vermonter means many things to many people, but a couple particular elements come to mind for me. Those include self-sufficiency and self-reliance, the ability to use what you have to do what's needed, support your friends, your family, your neighbors, and of course, persistence. Growing up on a farm, I found persistence to be a defining trait for myself and in my neighbors. Hay gets wet just before bailing, you're out the next day, tethering it back into windrows. Cows escape at 1 a.m. in the morning during a raging thunderstorm. You spend the early morning hours until your boots fill with water and you land face down in the manure under the barn. But you don't stop. Did you spend all spring tapping out for a maple syrup season that didn't come? You better believe you're out there next year putting even more taps up. You don't have to have grown up on a farm to have had your own version of these experiences. Whether a farm, a village, or in one of our still small cities, 
I still find persistence seems to infuse the ethos of Vermonters. And persistence, or the word I want to introduce and prefer to use today, grit, is becoming an increasingly rare trait in this world. Grit is the measure of one's character, the strength of your convictions, your willingness to pick yourself up when you're knocked down and keep going. And grit is what I want to focus on now. Ten years ago, I was sitting where you are all today. And hopefully this has given me enough experience to convey something of value, but not so much time that I don't remember what it's like to see a new horizon stretching out in front of me. Ten years ago, I graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering, a degree that I've never used. <laughs> Instead, I started a company in a field I knew nothing about, biology, other than my experience with cows and chickens. And we use that to grow materials that can replace and evolve products like styrofoam packaging. Our products are used around the world with companies like Dell. And we've made a lot of progress over the last 10 years. Just in the last year, if you took all the packaging we produced for Dell and you stacked it end on end, it would be one and a half times the height of Everest. Sounds impressive. It's a lot of plastic that doesn't end up in our oceans and a lot of biomass we're helping sent around the world that can be turned into nutrients, not pollutants. We've built two factories covering 50,000 square feet and employ over 60 people, from biologists to technicians to a whole range of members on our manufacturing team who maintain equipment, grow our products, and keep us on track. Sounds pretty good, right? But the reality is we've just begun our work. There's so much more to do. And the other reality is that while it may look nice from the outside and it sure sounds great when I'm introduced, sometimes I joke with my friends that the last 10 years could be described as a series of spectacular failures. It's a joke, sort of, but it's not that far from the truth. I can't think of a year on my journey or even more than a couple months that I didn't experience a setback or an obstacle that at that time felt overwhelming or unmanageable. I'm sure you've all experienced these same feelings at your journey at CCV, especially if you were balancing other responsibilities in your life, another job, a family, or simply trying to make all your classes fit. What I want to remind you today is that your presence in this auditorium is a testament to your grit. The degree you're receiving is important. It's a recognition and certification that you have the skills and expertise in your field of choice. And it's something that you, and your family should be very proud of. But what I believe is even more important is how you got it. Each one of you overcame obstacles and challenges in the moment that may have felt overwhelming, but you kept going. And in life, there are always more obstacles, always more challenges. So while your degree should stand out in your mind as a physical reminder of your hard work and effort over the last few years, just as importantly, What's gonna take you forward from this date is not that piece of paper, but the tenacity and effort you displayed in getting it. Researchers looking at the success of entrepreneurs have tried to understand what it makes to, take a, to make a successful company. Time and time again, they try and connect the dots between team, educational background, geography, and intent. Do you know what they find is the single most important factor in success? It's not where you went to school or what your grades were. It's not where you live or how much money you start with. It all comes down to one simple trait, grit. This trend has been shown true in other occupations and I firmly believe it's true for all of life. In some ways, I know this is a difficult message to hear. I'm, I'm probably supposed to be uplifting. You've all worked so hard to get here. It never really gets easier. And your success in life will continue to be defined by how quickly you get back up when the world knocks you down. But by being here today, we know each and every one of you is good at getting back up. And you have distinguished yourself in that regard. And now you know you can do it, whatever that may be for you. The trick after today is to keep going, keep striving, and remember, you're Vermonters. And Vermonters sure have a lot of grit. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, Eben. 2017 
marks the second year of the CCV chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, a national honor society for community college students who demonstrate academic integrity and excellence. You likely noticed when these students entered the field house that they are wearing yellow stoles, which symbolize their membership in PTK. Will all graduating members of Phi Theta Kappa stand at this time and be recognized? It is now time to turn our attention to the awarding of degrees. I congratulate each of you on the recognition you earn today, as do the many others who have, helped, who have helped you along the way at this moment. I'd like to ask the family, friends, and supporters of our graduates to stand. And graduates, will you please join me in thanking your family and friends for their support. CCV has a long-standing tradition that you will share in today. As you leave the platform after receiving your diploma, CCV staff members will present you with a red carnation. This flower is a symbol of the many people in your lives who have helped you reach this day. And now, CCV's academic dean, Debbie Stewart, will present the class of 2017. President Judy, it is my honor to present to you the graduating class of 2017, all of whom have met the requirements for the Associate or Associate in Applied Science degree. By the authority vested in the Community College of Vermont, by the Board of Trustees of the Vermont State Colleges, I confer upon you the class of 2017, the associate degree. <laughs> Graduates, you will be asked to come forward by centers and proceed to this end of the stage, and then you'll proceed individually across the platform to receive your degree. Will the graduates from Bennington please stand and come to the stage? Ashley Barber. Lauren Bow. Casey Brusso. Anna Bushy. Laura Savoli. <clears throat> Shauna Firth. <clears throat> Danielle Gardner. <clears throat> Taylor Giro. <Giroux. clears throat> 
Tammy Gosley. <laughs> Stacy Grahl. <laughs> Heather Hassett. <laughs> Susan Lake. Xiao Chun Li, <laughs> Catherine Rose, <laughs> Keith Rowe, <laughs> graduates from Brattleboro, <laughs> Amy Aldrich. Mary Diane Baker. Aaron Caldwell. Cheryl Ann Caldwell Lehew. Eve Fritz. Jacob Gothier, Bradley Henry, Megan, Megan Laflamme, Matthew Morrill. Sandra A. Sherman. <laughs> Levi Simpson. <laughs> Sherry Ann Stewart. <laughs> Alicia Marie Thomas. <laughs> Sarah Whittemore. Middlebury graduates, Mallory Anderson, <laughs> Abigail Bocage, <laughs> Stephanie Bushy, <laughs> Vanessa Butler. Madeline Field, Casey Curick, <laughs> Kathleen M. Martell, Daisha Mashek, Rebecca Miller. Amanda Russell. Leslie Scribner. Molly Jean Struhammer. Katie Wilkins. Janet Wilson. Graduates from Montpelier. Jensen Caldwell. Sandra Bazell. Celine Brulette. Allison Faye Boudreau. Alicia Batchelder. Michael Anderson. Anita Amel.
Dave DeMassey. Jackie Franks. Adam Fuller. Chris Gajewski. Jessica Grimes. Caitlin Horgan. Amber Laird. Louis Loray. Marissa Lowry. Caitlin Malone. Carla Messier. Caroline Monroe. <laughs> Kelly Murphy. Emily Packard. Cassandra Perry. Dylan A. Philibert. Huh? Emma Renner. Catherine Royer. Samantha Stable. Marcus Thornton. Shannon Williams. Graduates from Morrisville. Jamie Allen Jones. Avery Boye Traber. Oh, really? Ashley Catalona. Yeah. <laughs> Levi Costa. Oh. Marcy Cody. Aaron Godden. Jennifer Grimsley. Chanchopatni Im. Courtney Jewer. Nina King. Megan Kirby. Kristen Moody. Cheryl Tyrion. Ray Jordan. Graduates from Newport. Sarah Bagan. What's your name? Jennifer Benjamin. Leanne Dickens. Karen Fillmore. Kathy McCoy.
Ashara McIsaac Healy. Joseph Nagel. Mia Small. Abby Smith. Jennifer Ray Summer. Online graduates. Jennifer Atherton. <laughs> Megan Fredette. <laughs> Kristen Boomhover. <laughs> Garrett Bryan. <laughs> Michael Chappell. Jessica Clark. Heather G. Renee Taylor. Rutland graduates. Marissa Bizon. Nicholas Bjorkman. What's your name? Melissa Jessica Hoover Brown. Lundell Chapman. Christine Collins. Matthew Evans. Abigail Samantha Fowler. <laughs> Bryant Garrow. <laughs> Gary E. Grout. <laughs> Cassie Harnett. Amber Hinternetter. <laughs> Catherine Hone. <laughs> Daryl Osbert Hughes. <laughs> Samantha Johnston. <laughs> Myra Kidder. Roberta Lacoste. Elizabeth Lambert. Kathleen Mooney. James Perkins. Linda Reed. Michelle Rogals, Brenda Rollins, Tracy Rose, Jenna Smith, Michael Smith. Laura Spellman. <laughs> Lindsay Morgan Squire. <laughs> Jennifer Lynn Stiles. <laughs> Candy Stalker. <laughs> K. 
Tara Tomasini. Courtney Toll. Jillian Toll. Paul Valente. Colleen Welch. Springfield graduates. Jennifer Labarge. Amy O'Brien. Elizabeth J. Roberts. Christina Thetke. Francis Thompson. Deborah Trombley. Laura Vogel. St. Albans graduates. <laughs> Natasha Blaisdell. <laughs> Joseph Bully. Holly Cadu. Travis Duby. Dylan Thomas Hardy. Amy Hawkins. Caitlin Hope. Miranda Liu. Joshua Marchand. Hal Porter. Lori Brandt Marnell. Samantha Price. Rachel Tatro. Jeremy Wiegand. St. Johnsbury graduates. Gina Berwick. Jessica Boussier. Cyanna Cataret Lively. Shauna Gaborio. Cheyenne Ruggles. Lynn Macy. Andrea Otto. Kimberly Ruggles Payne. Brittany Stevens. Abigail M. Sweeney. Diane A. Wilson. Upper Valley graduates. Mona Abdelghani. Julie Bardalis. Gabrielle Blanchard. Amanda Clark.
Crystal Clark. William Henney. Haley Hudson. David Percy. Hunter Knox. Sarah Kwiatkowski. Michael Mayo. Abby O'Donnell. Laura Pratson. Emily Severance. Naomi Severance. Sandra Thibodeau. Melissa Tazera. Kristen Weber. Chantal Wood. Winooski graduates. Kara and Acharya. Ahmed Ahmed. <coughs> Robert William Ames the third. Nathan Borst. Derek Brown. Travis Briett. Kylie Bryant. Gushinder Budwal. Michelle Bully. Natasha Chastanay. Katie Charland. Kelly Coffey. Sarah Lynn Cross. Leslie Davis. Isaac Duranlo. Naomi Duranlo. Paul Devino. McKenna Devoid. Morgan Michelle Dodd. Maya Doobie. Yuri Harris. Rebecca Henderson. Mariah Henry. Kristen Jensen. Emily King. Madeline King.
Kylie LaBerge. Ashley LaBombard. Monica Landry. William R. Lefebvre, Sr. Tara Lewis. Chinghua Lee. Brandy Lawyer. Rosanna Lachka. Harley Marshall. Judith Marshall. Etienne Milambasi. Anthony Miller. Jessica Moore. Charles Norona. Jordan Northrup. Timothy Nias. Pascal Owende. Caroline Pantalon. Constance Pond. Hannah Jean Pickett. Victoria Pruss. Altana Rendon. Melissa Grace Richard. <laughs> Natasha Sala. <laughs> Barbara Sauer Davis. Maria Spadassini. Angela Strickler McCann. Eliza St. Ange. Eli Thurston. Benjamin W. Trendle. Dodi Chifamba Bwabwa. Judith Tristigay. Uh. Adelicia Vanderels. <laughs> Carrie Walker. Michelle Ward. Jacob Woodworth. Now, graduates, 
If you would please direct your attention to the front of the main aisle, Levi, will you please lead your class in moving your tassels right to left. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2017. We are so very proud of you. We send you off with your newly conferred degrees, trusting that you will continue to strengthen and enrich your communities. The group on the platform will lead the graduates out. I ask the audience to remain seated until the graduates have completed their recessional. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.